Okay, this is the Tableau part to whole tutorial. This is not high production value, so if I um or stutter or cough, I'm not going to edit it out. Okay, so the first thing you should do is go to the file that you downloaded from online and open up the part to whole hands on start file. There's two sets of data in here coffee chain and superstore. We're going to explore a few different things about part to whole. And at the end, you will save your um, workbook and you will turn it in. So, the first thing when there's a part to whole that we worry about is what's the whole? So, in this case, we're going to do some analysis and look at some uh, part to whole relationships regarding sales. So we take the sales measure and we drag it into the rows. This is the whole. By default, when you drop in a measure in Tableau, it tries to do a summary calculation. So you see that it's sum, you might choose to do average, median, count, etc. But in this case, we're going to do sum. Also, even though our data has sales data for multiple years, because we haven't asked Tableau yet to divide up our sales by year, we see that we have about $30 million in total sales in the entire database. So the first thing we'll do before working with the parts is to separate out the whole by year. So I'm going to go over to the order date, and I'm going to drag order date into columns. By default, Tableau thinks, well, if, they're, if they want the date in this visualization, they probably want to do a trend chart, which would be maybe a line graph. In our case, we don't want that. So there's a few ways we can change this back the way we want it. We could go to the Show Me area and pick a column chart again. Or we could go here to the Marks. We could choose to choose Bar, and we could have that fixed. So now we have our holes for each year. This is in some ways a part to hole because these are parts of all the sales, but it doesn't represent a part to hole relationship because each of these has become an individual hole. If we wanted to turn this into a part to hole relationship, we could choose stacked column, which would create a different area stacked for each year. That's not what we want to do. So one of the best features of Tableau is that it has unlimited undo. So we're going to hit undo. And we're back here to where we started. <clears throat> let's go ahead and duplicate. Let's leave this sheet the way it is and go down and right click on sheet one and choose to duplicate the sheet. This way we can kind of follow through all the different things that we've done. So we'll start with sheet one. And now we're going to move on to sheet two. Make sure you're on sheet two now. So the next thing that we might want to do is take a look at what are making up, what are the parts that are making up these holes. And we have several things over here we could choose as dimensions, but we're going to choose product category. So I'm going to drag category over here into color, and you're going to see that automatically Tableau says, wow, okay, if they want category and they want a bar chart, we probably want to stack it up like this. Now, product category may be, um, there may be too many categories here right now for people to make sense of. So maybe we can take this off and not use category, and let's use department. Ah, now, that makes a little bit more sense. It's a little bit more um, interpretable, and we see that it makes kind of better sense than each product category, but looking at a higher level, furniture, office supplies, and technology. And we see here that we have parts in absolute value for each of the years. Again, I did that by simply taking the product department and dragging that under color, and Tableau was smart enough to set this up. Let's move on. Let's duplicate sheet two. Now we'll work on sheet three. Sometimes we want to display information like this where we're showing each of the year's 
actual values, but perhaps we want to look at these as percentages of a total rather than as the absolute values. To do this, we could calculate a new field and use that, but instead of that, we will use Tableau's table calculation function feature, table calculation feature. I'm going to click the, double, the, the drop down on the sum of sales pill. I'm going to choose quick table calculation and you see here's all the calculations that are ready out of the box. I'm going to use percent of total. Now, something's a little strange. The bars look very sim similar, but note that our total is only adding up to 35%. That's because it has, it has calculated percent of total across the entire database and no one year gets above 35%. So that's as high as the Y um, axis goes. However, remember that in Tableau, this, each of these components, whether it's the whole visualization or the columns or rows, or the individual parts of the visualization are all able to be set as scope for the table calculation. If we look here and we click on the drop down again, you'll see that it says compute using and it's using the whole table across. Now if we choose cell, it's going to do the table calculation for each one of the bars in our visualization. So I'm just going to choose Compute Using, and I'm going to change it to Cell. And now we can see that we've created a part to whole with 100% for each year. Now we're going to experiment a little bit more with the Show Me area. There's other ways we could show parts to whole besides a stack column. So let's right click again on sheet 3 and duplicate that and now one of the first things we could look at is a filled area chart rather than st a stacked area chart rather than a stacked um, column chart. I'll just go over here to the show me area and I will click area chart and we see that now instead of columns we have a an overall area chart. Now this is an issue because we're really comparing points of data and by using a filled area chart, sorry, a stacked area chart with non-continuous data, we are making the assumption that this, these trend lines are actually what the trend is. We don't know what the trend was within 2011 or within 2012. So we have in some ways distorted what's been going on during this time. And this we will notice especially when we look at the um, time series data that this is not what the within year trends look like. But this is one example of something we could do especially maybe if we had monthly data or weekly data or even daily data. Let's right click and choose sheet 4 and come on Why I can't? There we go. Duplicate sheet four. Weird. And let's take a look at something else we could potentially use for part to whole, which is a tree map. The issue with a tree map is that now each of the cells of the part to whole has turned into a single area of the tree map. Now potentially we could solve this by having multiple tree maps, one for each year. I did that by default when I switched from, a, from an area chart to the tree map, Tableau moved everything down here into the marks card. Now if I want to create a different row for each year, I just drag year up here to rows and now I have a row in the visualization for each year. and these tree maps are now individually created for each year. 
as you can see, these are more difficult to evaluate than would be a stacked column chart. Let's duplicate sheet five. And let's change on sheet six, rather than a tree map, let's go over here to the show me and we'll choose pie chart. Again, because there are very few categories here, pie charts may be acceptable, but it is very difficult, as you can see, to compare the shapes of the different pie charts to each other. Let's duplicate sheet six. One thing we might choose to use are bubble charts. Bubble charts are almost never a good choice. Again, even if I create a row for each year, this kind of representation does not give us a whole lot of information and not nearly the ability to compare as does a stacked column chart. One of the things you note that when I mouse over the various components here, the various components of the visualization, I get a tooltip. By default, Tableau places all the fields that have been added into the visualization into the tooltip. If I'd like to include more fields into the uh, visualization, I simply can drag and drop them from the measures or the dimensions area and place them on tooltip. When we go back to sheet three, which was the visualization that was the stacked column chart, right click, come on, and duplicate the sheet. And we can drag, you see that you can reorder the sheets. I'm going to drag sheet eight over here to sheet to the right side of sheet seven. Now, perhaps instead of simply sales, maybe I would like to include profit as well. I'll just take profit, drag it onto tooltip, and I can right click, and you'll see though that while sales is calculated as percentage of the whole, you know, uh, calculated as percent of total, sorry, I was forgetting the name, profit is still the absolute value. If I'd like to have the percentage of the whole and the absolute value of sales, I can drag sales onto the tooltip as well. So now I have the percent of sales for that um, part of the whole, but I also have as you can see, the actual sales. Now something that's kind of frustrating about the way that um, Tableau does tooltips is that when you add a field to the tooltip, it uses the name of the field. But when you have an, a calculation, it comes up with a kind of a crazy name for it. It's easy to edit that. Let's right click on tooltip. My right click is not working very well. And when I right click, the edit tooltip comes up. You'll notice here that there, these are the fields or the calculated areas of the tooltip where the, there are the, the uh, greater than and less than signs around and the, and the gray shading. But this is just um, text. This is just um, static text. So instead of using it percent of total sales along cell, let's just say percent of total sales by year. Now when we mouse over the tooltip, we see percent of total sales by year.
So as you can see from this tutorial, there's lots we can do in Tableau with part to whole, and we've only really scratched the surface. We'll be working more on this in the future.